Good morning, Arthur. Any problems, you shout out, Lenny. Morning, Arthur. Keep your eyes open for any trouble. Of course. Well, you don't need me distracting you. All right, Arthur. Back again? Have a look. All for sale, except the floorboards. 
Oh, that's the whole range. What's caught your eye? It's all good. Fine. Here. That's it for now. So long. Good morning, friend. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Yeah, lucky for you. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to know this. Bye for now. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. 
Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Get to it, boys. A good deputy acts promptly. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor, but the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Dear me, that don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Oh. This must have happened recently. Hey, come have a look at this. Deputy, get over here, please. Easy. <laughs> Don't dwell on it. Let's just move on. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. 
Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Let's go. There's nothing more we can do here. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. A drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest. Our excellence is the... You say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your 
fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The chief of them. A fine idea, Marcy. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Take this one, Bill. With pleasure. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about the <laughs> That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Here. 
I'm gonna kill you so good! by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone. Well done! <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. <clears throat> ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But 
I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Can we leave this swamp now, please? Come on, Arthur, let's get back to camp. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! of a rock. Quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was gonna say you're like a son to me, but you're more than that.
whatever. smell it's cologne it's liquor it's cologne from cologne germany <laughs> oh i i just had a few nips arthur i'm not drunk i'm just happy <laughs> you know you ought to try sometime drinking happiness try happiness just just a little huh You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> Life is a lawman. What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Well, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought his... ...much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. <laughs> we'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too.
my favorite grub. Bill? Great. There, but nothing. There we have it, Domino. You, you're okay. lucky. You'll get precious little from me. If the Pinkertons could see you now, killer, bank robber, Domino's player. You gotta keep them on their toes. Not the way you wanted to get arrested, though. Imagine the newspaper headlines. Well, keep your eye out then. When I walk around Rhodes, it feels like a town trapped in time. It really does. Yeah, yeah. There, but nothing. Damn, that's not pretty. Ah, well. That's not looking up, amigo. There, Domino. Yes. Sorry, ain't worth much. Nothing on this one.
well must done, think you're real Domino. lucky. Damn, fine, here. There, and points for me. Nothing here. Nothing on this one. Domino. Good for you, really. There we go. Shoot. Here. That's it. Been waiting for this. Oh, you'll have your chance on the next one. So you told Jose about the moonshine? Yes, he's got some plan cooking. Good. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right. All right. Share marker, everybody. What do you think of the place? I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. Huh. Is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say so. How are you doing? Always good to see you. Arthur?
You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're a... I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. It'll be okay. Hey. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on, then, you miserable bastards. How you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. We need to move. Come on. <laughs> Will you ride with us now? Well, while you boys went off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. 
There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ. sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. Bear! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So, you know... <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh. miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Check the boxes at the back, Arthur. Uh, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll 
see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. It's your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Hey, hey, tell me what you heard. I don't, I don't maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. Oh, better not be. All right, coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go round the back.
I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn one on our backs. It was an again. honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up. Quan, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move.
Come on. Don't have to go down like this. Easy now. Probably did something bad. Cain. His name is Cain. Okay. Hey, Cain. <laughs> 